Hi everyone, I'm Clem and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you my thoughts on the different books I've read in May. So in May I managed to read six books and I really enjoyed most of them. And I read most of the books for the Asian Readathon that was hosted by Cindy. Um, it was really interesting to read books with uh, Asian representation, either because the author was Asian or the main character was Asian. I read amazing books and I'm going to talk about them right now. So the first book I've read for the Asian Readathon was Laura Dean Keeps Breaking Up With Me. So this is a graphic novel in which you're following Freddie and Freddie is a young Asian girl and she's a lesbian and she's dating this girl called uh, Laura Dean. But Laura Dean is not very cool because she keeps breaking up with Freddie and coming back to Freddie whenever she wants because she knows that Freddie loves her and that she can do pretty much everything she wants with her. And so that's how the book starts, like that's the situation at the beginning, like you can see that Freddie is really hurt by the behavior of Laura Dean, but she can't seem to be able to break up with her actually because she really likes her and she's afraid of finding someone else. So that's pretty much the story and one day she goes to see this like medium and she tells her that she needs to break the loop and be the one who breaks up with Laura, uh, Laura Dean. So you're following Freddy throughout like this journey on learning to love herself, but also to like break up with Laura Dean. And at the same time, uh, Freddy has a group of friends that are really amazing. Like there's a gay uh, couple that I really loved. And I, there's also Laura Dean's best friend and she's going through her hard time during the whole graphic novel, but you don't really know what it is um, until the end. And it was heartbreaking. I really loved it. Um, at first, when I picked uh, this book up, I didn't know what it was about. I mean, I knew it was about a couple and one of the two person in the couple uh, was like, not nice because uh, she kept on breaking up with the other person. But I thought it was actually, a straight romance because the main character was named Freddy and I thought it was a guy and also um, on the cover you can see that I thought that Freddy was the one uh, like with the short hair but actually that's Laura Dean so I should have read the summary more carefully because uh, it was a surprise but a good surprise because I ended up really enjoying this book and I gave it I think five out of five stars. The second book I read for the Asian Readathon was Love Boat Taipei by Abigail Ying Wen. So in this book you're following the main character and her name is Ava Wong. Ava Wong, yes. And so Ava lives uh, in the United States with a very um, traditional parents like they love tradition and they want her to be a doctor and to be good at school and to do nothing bad like not ki do, to not kiss boy to not drink alcohol, alcohol I can't speak today or to go out late at night but Eva actually wants something else from from life like she wants to study dance like she at the beginning of the book she's accepted uh, into a school you know uh, a dance university like she's been accepted that she really wants to go but her parents have other plans for a summer because they sent her to Taiwan which is like where her parents are from in order to discover the culture and to meet other Taiwanese uh, kids so she arrived in Taiwan in this like I don't want to say camp but like Yes, it's like a camp, but in a fancy hotel called, called Love Boat. And she meets a bunch of very wealthy Taiwanese American uh, kids who've been coming to Love Boat for years, so they all know each other. And so uh, Eva is going to try to find a place in this group. And she's going to learn a lot about herself, but also about her parents and her culture. And she's going to have to... Um, spend the summer with this guy uh, called uh, Boy Wonder and it's a um, Taiwanese kid who lives in New York but he was like 
the pride and joy of all the Taiwanese uh, who lived in America because he was very talented and very su successful. But Eva Wong hates him because her parents kept telling her, you should be more like him. Like, look at him. He lives in America, but he's a good kid. He's a doctor. He wants to be a doctor and stuff like that. So Eva hates him, but he's in love boat. So, so yeah. Um... So uh, what I like, so I ended up giving this book yeah four stars, and um, what I liked for this book it was that I learned a lot about Taiwan and the Taiwanese culture. It was really interesting, and also my favorite part was um, the main character because she was really interesting. I loved seeing um, a reflection about um, her parents, and also because they have this list like. Of the things she can't do and she's trying throughout the book to create her own list of what she wants to do and what she can't do and it was really interesting to see her grow actually. Next I've read Anna K by Jenny Lee and I gave this book five out of five stars because I fell in love with it. So if you don't know what this book is about it's a retelling of the novel Anna Karenina by Tolstoy and it's set in New York in the modern time. And so you're following the life of Anna Kay, and if you know Anna Karenina, you know that uh, the main plot line of the story is that Anna is dating someone, but she's going to fall in love with someone else, and she's going to have to choose between the two guys. So I've never read Anna Karenina. I've seen when I was a um, little uh, old version of like an old adaptation, and I liked it, but. I haven't seen the recent ones or read the book, uh, but I'm in love with the story and um, I hope that the real story of Anna Karenina is similar to the one in Anna K. Like, I don't know how much it differs, um, but I really hope it's similar because I loved it. There was so much drama all the time and I loved it because you could see like, how something that was happening now was going to impact something in the future and I loved it. Also, you know that Anna uh, is going to fall in love with this guy, but there are so many things like, there's another character who's actually dating this guy and so you can see how they're going like to break up and how it's going to impact the story of Anna and how something that happens at the beginning then how it's going to be good for another character at the end even though they think it's bad. I loved it because it was not a surprise, but I liked the fact that I could see what was going to happen because I felt, I felt like a mastermind. I was like, oh yes, this is going to do that and this character is going to hate it and she's going to do that. I loved it because I felt like I was reading gossip and I loved it. And last but not least, uh, for the Asian Readathon, I read The Kingdom of Bag by Mary Lou. So this is going to be painful, but... If you've been on my channel for a while, you know that Mary Lou is one of my favorite authors. I always love a book. And I was super excited for this book. So in this book, you're following the life of Nano, and she was the older sister of Mozart. But the fact is that Nano never got famous because she was a woman and she couldn't compose because at that time, uh, women weren't allowed to compose like uh, melodies or songs or sonnets or anything. So she always lived in the shadow of a brilliant uh, younger brother. But in this book, um, when she's young, Nano um, is visited by like a princeling uh, who lives in a magical world called the Kingdom of Back. And he comes and he says, Nano, if you help me um, like go uh, to take back my throne, I will help you become famous and to be remembered in history through centuries. So Nano, that's all she wants, okay? She wants to be to be famous and to be remembered. That's her biggest dream. So she said yes, and so she's go she's going to go to this kingdom several times in order to help the princeling to to take back his throne. You see, when you read that, you see mm, that sounds super inter interesting. Like it's a mix be between an historical fiction and a fantasy fiction. So I was so into it, and it was. Also something that Mary, Mary Lou um, hadn't done before, so I was so intrigued to see how it was going to be. Unfortunately, I hated this book. On Goodread, I gave it three stars, but I think I'm going to lower it to like 
2.5 or 2 stars because it was really bad and I'm so sad because it's a Mary Lou book and I, I wanted to love it okay I really wanted and I had a hard time reading it because like I started it on the first day of May and I finished it like maybe two or three days before the end of the month you see it was a long long read and I didn't enjoy it I'm going to tell you why I didn't enjoy it though um, the main thing is that it was pointless, like it was empty, nothing happened in the story, it was, yeah, it was lame, because really, when I tell you that really nothing happens, nothing happens, and also, the link between the Kingdom of Back and the real story isn't really interesting, like, it's not really well done, like, when I say well done, I'm not saying it's, like, not well written or anything, or not well built, it's just that you ex like you expect nothing from this world like you don't really see the point where she's going because it comes like further like in the books like in the story but yeah i was bored reading this book really really bored and also like if this book was a middle grade i would understand and i think i would have enjoyed it better because i would understand some storytelling choices that were made but you can tell what is going to happen from the beginning like at one point you introduce to a character and you think it's good but you can see that he's the bad guy and that is going to betray everyone and when it happens at the end of the book you're like oh my gosh i didn't see that coming mm, he was the bad guy who would have thought everyone everyone reading this book with like two brain cells working so i'm so mad but also so sad because this book had potential but, but yeah, it was not good. It just wasn't good. Also, this month I read two books uh, outside the readathon. So the first book I read was uh, Lucky Color by Emma Mills. Uh, so in this book, you're following a girl, and we're going to call her Lucy because I forgot her name right now. And Lucy lives uh, three, with uh, three sisters uh, in this apartment, and they like have a great life. But um, it's the last uh, semester of uh, senior year for Lucy. And so for uh, last semester, she's taking this class that's a radio class. And in this radio class, they have to form a group and create a radio station. And they actually have to produce and have the radio station. And when she goes into this group, she is forced to work with a former best friend okay I never said they were best friend but for me they were really close like could have been best friends and uh actually you sense that something happened between the two of them but you don't really know why because like you have some sort of flashbacks when they were friends and you see that they were really close and really having a good time because the guy was also friend with uh Lucy's two sisters and so you don't really understand what happened but you want to know and so they have to work together and they're working uh, on this radio program called Sound, Sound of the 90s and they're only broadcasting songs from the 90s and it's really enjoyable and actually the whole story is um, like Lucy and the guy trying to reconnect and be friends again or more and you also learning what happened between the two of them and also there's a lot of bad things happening with the radio because at first it's a mess then they don't have uh, enough audience and so they're trying to do stuff to have more people listening to their radio show also you have a lot a uh, huge part of the story that's the relationship between Lucy and a father who lives in California and he's not really like a good dad so that's pretty much it i really liked it though it's my least favorite so far um book by emma mills like my favorite one is still foolish hearts i like this one but i was not really interested by the characters like i was not like rooting for them or anything i was happy it was cute but not my favorite one and last but not least i read <laughs> A book that is so relevant today with what's happening in the world and I think that everyone should read it and it made me cry and it's uh, Dear Martin by Nick Stone so obviously I gave this book five out of five stars because I got so emotional while reading it and it's something really really I want to force everyone to read it um, because it was a masterpiece and so enlightening on so many points 
So if you don't know what uh, Dear Martin is, is you're following the life of Justice. And Justice is a young uh, Afro-American uh, teenager and is coming from like um, not the best neighborhood in his city. But he got a scholarship and so he um, is going to the... Um, like to the to a private high school or a very very good high school where there's only like wealthy kid and mainly white uh teenagers like it said in the at some point that there are only five or seven black uh, afro-american kids in the in the high school and justice is the only one who doesn't come from this wealthy neighborhood um and and so the story is that Justice um, has a hard time being surrounded by all those white teenagers who can't phantom what uh, is his life or can't understand what he has to go through every day because of racism and all the things that's happening uh, to him because he's an Afro-American teenager who comes from a bad neighborhood. And so he starts writing a letter to Martin Luther King like and it's really interesting because he asks him questions and it allows him to reflect on what he did what martha luther king did uh in his time and what's happening to him right now and how nothing changed or very little and so at one point something super tragic arrive and uh it's going to change everything for justice like the way he thinks the way he see himself in society and it was beautiful and heartbreaking and also so unnerving because at some point like at several moments in the book justice is going to this class and it could it look like a debate class where the teacher like give them a, a subject and they have to talk about it it's a really interesting class and but at some point like at the beginning of the book like um an officer gets shot by an afro-american teenager and so the teacher who is also an afro-american pick this subject for the class and they have to talk about it and so a lot of the characters are actually like um trying to like defend the fact that a police officer was like threatening the guy or stuff like that or that black Americans uh, or Afro-Americans have uh, been persecuted for a long time. And then you have some white guy who says stuff and you're like, I want to go into the book and slap you and like make you realize that you're not supposed to say that, like you don't have the right to say that. Like, And at some point they're talking about um, white racism and I was like, okay, <laughs> I'm so mad right now. So I really enjoyed that because reading this as a white person you can see so many things like i know i'm not like uh an ignorant and i know who uh, my um my place in the society and the privileges i have and so reading about white person who don't realize that was so unnerving because you're like stop stop playing the victim stop being a little bitch and shut up uh, i've said so many bad words right now but yeah so i really liked it i'm going to buy it because i want to reread it i want everyone to read it i'm going to find a version for my student to read it or to study it because it's so important and yeah so it was my favorite book of the month i loved it i i, I loved it i can't wait to read the second book that's coming um i'm sure i'm going to cry again but yeah so you guys that's it that was my wrap up for the may of may and <laughs> tell me in the comments down below if you've read anything interesting during the month of may i would love to know also i don't know if you've noticed but when i'm filming this i'm one subscriber away from 300 and i would love to reach the free hundred like total of subscribers it will be amazing i would love that and anyway i will see you next time bye guys <music>